Welcome back to Will and Sully, and on today's episode, we're starting a brand new series all about the 10 best things about the Labrador Retriever, dedicating a single episode from the 10th best thing all the way down to the first best thing about the Labrador Retriever. Now, today, it's a little bit hectic in my house. It is Saturday morning, and we're having a new kitchen put in. We're getting some new furniture delivered. We've got some new bedroom furniture delivered. So we've been trying to like break things down, do some tip runs, build some Ikea furniture. And as is the case, when you've got a four-year-old and a one-year-old, things are getting a little bit hectic. So I think it's time that we go out. I'm taking the four-year-old with us. We're going dragon hunting, Dexter. Yeah. Yeah, let's go dragon hunting. Dragon hunting is taking Sully out somewhere really cool and Sully sniffs for dragons and me and Dexter go hunting those dragons. And while we're out, I'm gonna tell you what the 10th best thing about the Labrador Retriever is. But without further ado, let's go get Sully. I'm ready to rock, I've got my lead, got all the stuff that I need. Let's chuck them all in the car. Let's go and get out of here. And let's let Rachel have a bit of uh, freedom, time to relax and carry on building some Ikea furniture. Sully stay. Go Sully, break. Be free, be free. So it was around this stage that I realised that the battery for my wireless microphones had completely died. So all the talking to the camera that I did during this entire trip out with Dexter and Sully has completely gone to waste. But the show must go on and I definitely wasn't going to not use some of this amazingly cute footage I had of Dexter and Sully together. So at number 10 in this new series of discussing why it is that the Labrador are one of the best breeds on the planet, my 10th best thing about the Labrador is the fact that they are just such quick learners that ability for them to be such quick learners is one of the main reasons why they're so often used for a variety of working roles around the world from high level assistance dogs through to drug detection dogs bomb detection dogs or search and rescue dogs it's what makes this breed one of the most fantastic pleasure to train breeds on the planet now obviously the vast majority of people having labradors aren't getting labradors for those high-end working roles myself included their family companions but that eagerness to learn and that quickness to learn transitions over to the companion role absolutely beautifully so there was no way i was leaving this off my top 10 list of the best things about the labrador retriever Now, as a canine behaviourist myself, my passion and my driving force and what gets me going every single day is about helping owners become good canine leaders that are able to raise perfect canine companions. Therefore, that's part of my mission to stop dogs ending up in shelters and then unfortunately euthanised. Now, one of the great things about the Labrador being such quick learners is you're able to work with dogs so quickly. Now, for me, as a behaviourist, I much more commonly work with problem behaviours as opposed to a dog trainer that might work more on obedience obedience and taking obedience to a higher level but for me to have a perfect canine companion that's under control at all times you need to be able to teach them quite basic things like sit stay heal recall and then adding things like down and place is nice as well and then anything on top of that for me is just a bonus and fun things to do the brilliant thing about a labrador is that anybody can train their labrador to do those things very simply very easily and very quickly which for me is why they are so well suited to such a large variety of people, especially people that are less experienced and have less skill set in terms of training dogs to higher standards. So there we go, at number 10, for the best things about the Labrador Retriever, I have just how quick they are to learn. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did enjoy it and you are new here, make sure you subscribe, because on the next video, I'm going to be breaking down what I think is the ninth best thing about the Labrador Retriever, as well as some more behind the scenes of me working as a canine behaviourist and just having some amazing fun with my beautiful Labrador Sully. So thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you on the next episode of Will and Sully.